Hey guys, I got some great news for you here today in Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins and check this out. I have often tried to find a way to apply soft pastel to canvas. And while this particular product is not canvas, it's actually a wood panel, but it's a primed canvas texture. And I had kind of a happy accident of being able to find a way to apply soft pastels to this product to be able to hang a pastel painting on a wall rather than frame it. But first, let me show you quickly the little painting that I uh, created using the artist panel along with a watercolor underpainting. I'm gonna be sharing with you a product that I use for the watercolor underpainting. While I share a lot of information in this video, it has a little bit of limited content. I have now decided to have special extended content available for my patrons on my Patreon page. But there's a lot of great content here, so keep watching. Now, very quickly, let me do a little product review from this company, Arteza, that keeps sending me free products, which is awesome. This is their watercolor paper, and I'll be sharing with you this little 36-piece set. I've already gone ahead and used this Micron marker. It's a great little marker for watercolor because it's waterproof, and I've put each color and number on this because it's really a great idea to do this with any watercolor set. Okay, so here's the box for the 36 watercolor premium set. Uh, they are archival, meaning they are good quality. They're not gonna yellow on you. Um, this set also comes with a nice little, it's like a travel watercolor pen. You open it up like this and put water in the um, <clears throat> top part of it. Then you screw it back on and it's got a, I think it has a little regulator valve to control the water and a nice little nib. This is a very versatile little nib or uh, bristle that it has on it. So that's really handy. Um, and all these little pans come with their own little labels on them with the colors. Now, uh, I guess this is good to be able to see the individual colors. I have a pet peeve. I do not like taking labels off anything. I'm like ready to paint, but I did go ahead and speed this up and uh, they were a little hard to get off. But the neat thing about these pans is that they are removable and they can be taken out, rearranged. You can also add more colors to them or different colors to them um, with the Arteza watercolors that come in the tube. I have that set as well. But I really love a little set like this just to try travel with. And I also happen to really love the color selections in this 36 piece watercolor set. Uh, and I'm kind of picky about my color selection. So I think they did a really nice job. Okay, so I'm about to get to the end of this. This did take a while. And now let me show you another little product that Arteza sent me. It is another little watercolor i'm about to show it right here watercolor um, palette that's empty so you can fill your own colors in it so it's really kind of neat if you already have your tubes of color and you just want an empty little palette like this it's really great now is where i begin actually applying uh, one of each of the watercolors under its appropriate name and number and the reason this is important is because colors often appear um, different on the paper than they do in the palette. In the palette they're typically a little darker and also certain uh, paint colors are have a different translucence or translucency or opaqueness so what you get a sample as to whether it's kind of see-through translucent or uh, thicker and not as see-through opaque. And so this is a really great way to do it. I also wanted to mention that I didn't show in the set um, that it actually has those nice little wells. You can kind of see it at the beginning, right there, um, where you can kind of mix colors on the sides, which is really great. So there are all of the colors. And now it's time to get started using these watercolors on this little canvas. Now, I was so pleasantly surprised that this little canvas took watercolor very nicely. Now, I think the reason for this is because this artist panel canvas is not the same as a regular bumpy canvas. Those are the canvases I've tried to use before using various products to apply to the surface to make it uh, have uh, um, ability to receive the pastel without it falling off. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've watched my channel, you can use clear gesso because it has a little grit to it. Uh, you can use the golden product that is a pastel ground. I've got a video of like eight different products you can use to create your own pastel surface. Um, so what I obviously what I did with this artist panel is I'm applying the watercolor. This is just acting as an underpainting. I'm just showing the colors there. 
and uh, just to kind of give it some color uh, to get just some general mood shapes and to really cover up all that white I'm not really focusing on doing any particular drawing um, I'm just emulating um, kind of big shapes a uh, little bit of value and uh, again just kind of getting some color down here so this again I was just so pleased I really think I could just do some watercolor on this wood panel uh, um, I did put a lot of water on it I made it real drippy and runny I kind of wanted it like that I am kind of given an idea of the flowers positioning here but it, you'll see in a minute it doesn't really matter once I apply the product um, that will cause the pastel to stick so there's a little cliffhanger you're gonna have to keep watching to see what product am I going to apply to this so that pastels would adhere to it um, again or if you're new I'll uh, let you know that pastel painting is um, really most artists like a sanded surface versus a flat surface and the reason is with a just a flat surface like paper or like this wood panel um, your pastels don't look as brilliant on it and they don't stick you can't layer it um, like you can with a sanded surface so here's the product I'm using right now to put a little grit to the surface it's just clear gesso and um, I did put it in the little thing of the watercolor tray there but um, the reason clear gesso works versus regular gesso I get this question a lot is clear gesso for some reason I don't know why it has a little bit of grit to it almost like sand within it so once it dries it gives a little bit of texture or tooth for the pastels to hold on to now you can see here obviously the clear gesso does blend these watercolors which is fine it gives it kind of a nice little dreamy look but you want to keep that in mind and not just brush the whole thing I was being a little bit careful with it because I didn't want to ruin that pink the lightness of the pink up top so I made sure to rinse out my brush with certain sections um, all right so this is going to be dry and ready in just a minute now the clear gesso is dry and you can't hear it here I had to turn the volume down because I had other music playing but if I rub my fingers across it you actually can hear the sanded surface all right so now I have a way to apply pastel first I'm going to kind of just sketch in uh, a very general composition and uh, so I can get to painting now I'll share here a little bit of the uh, process of how you can actually see the success of how pastels will work once I apply the clear gesso here but I'm just going to share a little bit of this process uh, on my Monet Cafe YouTube channel this channel and uh, for you know I'll put it on my Monet Cafe art group and on my Susan Jenkins fine art Facebook page but I'm not going to share the entire process of the painting because I'm keeping that exclusive to my patreon members on my patreon page so if you'd like to join my patreon page it's only five dollars a month uh, it's a great thing it's like an art appreciation thing to help me and my channel stay on YouTube bringing free videos but also I try to give my patrons a little bit extra so uh, I'll put the link up here for my patreon page if you'd like to join for five dollars a month and you will be getting a little bit of extra content behind the scenes things and I have a little bit more of an uh, intimate um, way to talk to you guys because on patreon because there's not as many as you know there's over 20,000 subscribers here and in the Monet Cafe art group there are over 8,000 I think close to 9,000 uh, members in that group which is a great group by the way so there's still all these free resources but for my special patrons I just love you guys I'm gonna try to give a little extra content so I'm gonna end this video up right here I'll show you the final and um, I hope you guys learned something about painting on canvas in this case a wood panel that is prepared like a canvas so it was really cool I loved finding this out and I hope you will too please subscribe if you haven't comment in the section below I try to answer your comments and uh, like this video and feel free to share it all right guys happy painting